uh, Ronsley Park Station and today we're going to go and ride Sky Trek. Every man and their dog's done it recently and made a video of it so we're going to do the same. But yeah, the cabin here has been, it's good, it's fine, uh, the amenities are good. So yeah, it's so far positive experience here at Rawnsley Park Station. Friendly staff and nice day meant to be warm today so we might be pulling some layers off as we go. It's 37 k's up the road I think they said and we go and pay our fee and then we'll be in. And it's an 80, 80 something kilometre loop. We're going to take our time, take lots of photos. It's supposed to be quite scenic and spectacular, like that stuff is. Right, oh, no, so we've got to Willow Springs Station and we've paid our fee. And we're going to do Sky Trek. Left at the Eagle. Sky Trek with Simon. Let's ride. Ride it like a 16 Juro special stage. Yeah, nah. Should be a very nice ride. So for the YouTube video, we're patched in, you probably won't hear Simon, but I can hear him, and if he says anything good, which probably won't, I'll just translate it. What do you think, Simon? <laughs> Look at this rock here, how good is this? That's proper flinders there. Creek, Simon, there's a creek. dribble <laughs> Simon says look at this fucking hell that's it there's not a lot of room at the moment oh he's stopping thank you are you right behind me now We'll all be uh, leapfrogging each other all day, I think. Stopping and taking pictures and whatnot. Oh, that's a stiff one. Oh, bottom out there. There's a real steep. Um, Erosion mound, Simon. Yeah, I hit it and bottomed the front out. Yeah, it's like a real sharp uplift. It's in the red dirt. Yeah, we've just been doing a bit of sky trek track. It's opened up, less gorgy stuff, more open terrain. Off through the plains. We got a shack here, some family shack. We'll have a look inside. Simon's going in. There you go. Yeah, they filled all the gaps with mud on this side. Pretty cool. Yeah, I'm guessing this would have been some sort of stockman's hut or something that worked the property back in the day. It's pretty simple. Hey? Eh? That's pretty simple, that, the lock. It's good. Your thing's not on. Yeah, oh, right. I turned off. Oh, 
Alright. Yeah. Let's press on. Yeah, very nice. Yeah, this footage, this uh these mountains look pretty impressive. Watch the road, James, watch the road. That's happened a number of times. Too busy looking at the scenery and the, the track catches you out. Pretty spectacular. Yeah, right. Just letting Simon go. Bit of a bull dusty rocky section. Winding through, we're going through the valley now, have a look of it, and you can see the track heads up there. Looks pretty good. What's he stopped for? We'll go down and see. There you are, stand up, stupid. Get moving. Boulders. Keep going if you want. You flew down there. Bulldust. Yeah, boulders and bulldust. Yeah. Let's do it. Let's ride. Impressive, isn't it? Look at that. Wide open plains. Play the theme song from Daktari. Wonder if we're going to get a gate like the one on the gods must be crazy. You know, every time he's on his own, every time he shuts it, it, it like goes to drive through it and shuts itself. And he's up and back, up and back. Yeah, that's pretty mad scenery, that. Righto, Simon. We're about 48 k's into the 80 odd k's of Skytrek. What do you reckon so far? Doesn't get any better, does it? It's pretty good. Like, you wind through tight creek beds, and then you're out in the open stuff like this. With views like that. Going alright, eh? Oh, great riding. Like, every type of terrain that you could ask for. Yeah. And you can't be complacent. It's sort of a mix of making sure that you're not going to get a pinch flat or drop it. Yeah, the temptation versus, to go too quick. Yeah, and versus looking up and seeing what you can see here. Yeah, run off the track looking at mountains. And knowing that no one's coming the other way, right? You pay your 45 bucks, yep. and that's your guarantee no one's coming around the other way in some big soot munch and thing. Yep. So yeah, awesome. Yeah, really good. I think I've got into fourth gear about three times. The rest of it's second gear, third gear, down to first into some creeks. It's all it's pretty, like, it's technical. It's not wide open riding. It's pretty good. All right, we'll keep going. Look at the colours in this creek bed. That's pretty special. Oh, and off to the right as well. Oh, and then we go from red to orange to yellow. Right, eh? Right, eh? It's funny how the colours change so quickly. <laughs> Easy there. and get a video of you riding past, eh? <laughs> if I don't crash in that sand. Can you 
another creek bed. Stop for a quick photo. And Good, so good. Terrain's continually changing, it's been so much variety. Great ride. at the top there Simon. I nearly went off the track being a bit spastic but power saved it. This is the luncheon area. There's a picnic table and a can of rock and the view's pretty fucking all right. See up here. Check that out. That's impressive. Yeah. Thanks for coming. Look behind him. Good God, that's so good. <laughs> right I think the camera's going to be smoking by the time we're finished here, Simon. Lunch time. Right eh? Lunch stop, Simon. Climbed, climbed a bit of a hill and just sat for an eight hour ham sandwich and a beer. Just take that. You can see the track, but it's not the way. And yeah, the GoPro might not pick it, but those mountains over there, pretty spectacular. But what a spot to sit and have lunch. goes on. We just went through the locked gate on Skytrek and this is the way that you take on the big climbs out of here. So we'll uh, see how that transpires. They say they're quite long and bumpy, rocky, so we'll see how we go. Let's just have a bit of a chat about the last part of Skytrek through the locked gate. When they briefed us before we started, they did say the hills are long and rocky, and they advised us that it's probably not a place for big heavy adventure bikes. But they did say it's your own decision whether you go or not. Um, 
but there were certainly warnings. Simon and I thought about it for about a microsecond and thought, we are here at Skytrek, we are going to do it. And the hills were as described, long, rocky, uh, used a lot of energy, but it was certainly worth it. The views at the top of some of these climbs were simply stunning. We did have a minor incident, um, but took a bit of time to get the bike back on track. It is worth doing. But keep in mind, it's going to test you on a big adventure bike. Uh, let's keep on with the video and find out what happens. Okay, this looks like being the first of the climbs. Let's see how we go. 43. It's rocky. It's long. Eyes up. Steep. Nice work. <laughs> nice work. Ah, she's a long climb. That's mental, Jane. Yeah. Good stuff. Yeah, we just pop down into a creek bed. Track runs beside it. After them couple of big climbs, we've asked the question, are there more? Because it's pretty warm. We're pretty warm. That's a rock garden, isn't it? Oh. Yeah, you get pretty hot doing that stuff for extended periods. That's nice. Get moving, get a bit of breeze. We've got a climb here, Simon. Don't know yet, it's got a sharp right before you start it, conveniently. Back to first, neutral, fucked it, I'm stopped. Yeah, see if I can get going. Hit neutral, of course. We're up, we're moving, stand up, stand up. Yep. Don't hit neutral when you should be fine. Yeah, because I stopped, but I would have done it anyway. Well, that's what I was trying to achieve. Yeah, it keeps going and going. Yep. It's a bit fair income, Simon. Yep. I'm sitting down back up. Fuck. Yeah, concentrate. Wow, that 
it's insane. You're nearly there mate, keep going. Good riding Simon, that was fucking technical. Good riding. We'll have a breather here. Yeah, look at the view. Yeah, I'm having a blow. Yeah, we'll have a chill. For sure, it's just longer. That's impressive though, it's time for a photo. Right there. We've just come out that big climb to this very special place. We got more to go off that way. See what's in store for us. I'd like to hope it's not as rough as guts as that. Oh, come on, get over, old fella. <laughs> Yeah, the back end of this sky trek, she's certainly technical. After a bit more climbing, check out this. Unbelievable. That is amazing. What do you think of that? That is so good. Right, uh, we're still pushing on Sky Trek. It's been quite the uh, challenging section the last hour. We were well there, but there's a book here you can write your name in. So I'm going to write our names in it. We just stopped and signed the guest book. It turns out there's some bikes from the Hunter Valley have been through already today that uh, make an appearance on various uh, YouTube platforms so they came through on a T7 and an Africa twin as well so unless they're Chris Birch they've they've done it tough like we have but uh, yeah Still a bit to go. This is probably a bad idea being so close. I'll just drop back. Uh, yeah, this is an epic, epic ride. I'm off. Ugh, fuck ya. I'm all right. Here we go. Fucking hell. Yep.
Okay, Simon had a little off track excursion. We just had to bring him up out of there. That's what we're looking at. She's rugged. I've got to get the big girl moving up here now. Let's see how this transpires. Definitely tough track, Sky Trek. Don't underestimate it. Do not underestimate it. Hardship this last little bit. The hill after Son and the guest book, she's a monster. And hopefully, that's the end of it. Didn't film the recovery of Simon's bike because the helmet was up the hill and I wasn't walking up to fetch a camera. Energy lifting. Um, Adventure bikes is more important than fetching cameras. But uh, yeah, she's been a bloody challenge. An incredible view, still pumping out. Soak them up. fantastic even though that was very hard recovering a bike wow the views the riding $45 to ride on private station tracks that have some of the most epic views great riding So good. Simon's coming down alright. Far out man, unreal, look at that. Actually feels good to be close to the finish because we're pretty fatigued. It's warm, it's been warm today. Let the engine do the work. back to the homestead which is Skytech return that's the way yeah I sort of lost me bearings there Simon as to which way to go
did it, Simon. Sky trick done. She was a the back half of that was a challenge. Wasn't it? I think it's time for a fucking Gatorade it will paint a pound. We go right here, don't we? Back down there. <laughs> Fantastic. Well done, brother. Where are you? Hand that key back. Go rehydrate. Skytrek, done. Okay, bit of an end of the day update. Skytrek day. Um, the end of it knocked us around. It was tough riding, some big hills. Um, big, big hills that big bikes probably aren't designed to do, but we did it. And uh, we ran out of water. But we got through, and it was good. And now we've got beers. Beers. Cheese and bickies. That's them. And we'll have that, and we'll chill for a bit, and then we'll have a barbie later. But, uh, yeah, very good day. Huge, yeah. Had everything, didn't it? Yeah. Every riding sort of, every riding terrain that you could think of, and then the views. Yeah, yeah. you climb this stupid hill and then just be rewarded by like million dollar views. Just yeah. yeah. And like they mapped that track, I don't know how many years ago, but the choices of where like the varying terrain through the creek beds and then through the open plains and then the gnarly climbs up onto peaks. 360 degree views of insane stuff and took well, obviously we took a thousand photos mm. they just look shit compared to real life yeah like, yeah amazing you're never gonna show how unreal it is but yeah great day great riding mm. got to do it make good choices yeah if you're gonna do the gated bit of sky trek you need to think well can i ride me 200 plus kilo bike like a trials bike. I'm not saying Paul Torres or Chris Birch, but you've got to be able to climb steep, rocky, boulder hills, shale, yep. um, carry that momentum and get up there. Good tyres. Yeah. Look after your fatigue before you get to that gate. Yeah. Because, yeah, it's at the very end of the day. How long will we take? Five, Five hours. and a half hours. Yeah. Stopped a few times, but we managed our fatigue to the last inch. Yep. And then we spent more than what we wanted because someone on the Tenere did run out of capability on the second last hill. So we spent a bit more juice than what we'd have liked. But yeah, if you're going to do it, manage yourself, make good choices. Yeah. Mega, mega day. All right, tomorrow, more kilometres, but less technical riding, more sightseeing, more lookouts, yeah, should be good, catch ya.